Good morning. It's, uh, what is it? Tuesday morning. Um, in the last video, I put pretty much finished putting the engine together. Um, all the, uh, you know, all the, all the things are bolted up and, and, and tightened up and stuff. The only thing I had left to do was to, uh, set the valve flash and, uh, flash is just a, a fancy word for play. So you, you want to take the play out. Um, I, had, I don't know. It's a French word from the lash de valve or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, so we're going to set the valve lash. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, a lot of guys are afraid of this for whatever reason, you know, uh, and you don't need all kinds of high tech equipment. All you need is fingers and a ratchet. That's it. You don't need feeler gauges. You don't need uh, micrometers. You don't need, uh, you know, any of that stuff, x-ray machines, stethoscope or any other damn thing. Fingers and a ratchet. That's all you need. So, uh, yeah, we'll get after that, and uh, then then this thing is ready to put into the uh, chassis. So, um, yeah, let's just get after it, man. Okay, so four-stroke engines. Uh, just what it says, four strokes. So, you got, right now we're at, you know, top dead center, um, just because it doesn't really matter. Um, but just to illustrate what's going on here. So... Right now we're at the top, like I said, top dead center. So as this engine turns, this piston is going to come down. And that's going to draw in uh, air and fuel. So your intake valve is going to be open. Then the piston is going to come up and compress it. So both valves will be closed. Um, <clears throat> then the spark is going to go off. It's going to drive that piston down. That's your power, power stroke. And then your exhaust valve is going to open up and the piston is going to come up and push the exhaust gas out through the exhaust valve. So while all that's going on, these rocker arms are flopping around all over the place. Now, right now, there's no load on them. There's no, there's no weight. Everything's loose, okay? You know, and these little push rods here, you can turn them like no problem. I don't know if you can see that. See how it's spinning? And they're all, they're all at that. That's where I said it at the end of the last video. So the idea here is to take the play out. So if you got, you know, like, you can't have this, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to get them so they're snug and you can just roll it with your finger. And there's no play in the in the rocker. And we're going to do that all the way around. And then we're going to rotate the engine 90 degrees and do it again because these are going to move around. Some of them are going to be loose. Some of them are going to be tight. The tight ones you don't worry about. The loose ones you snug them up. And we just keep on going like that. So I'm going to set up the camera and uh, yeah, we'll go to it. Okay, so here we go. Now, you see that, how it's spinning and how loose that is? Well, you want to tighten that up until it's not, there's ain't no play on it. So there's still a ton. Perfect. Oh, too much. So you want to be able to roll it without any movement on the rocker. So there, a little bit of movement there. Perfect. Now it doesn't matter where you start. Um, or where you finish and you can like I said you can walk away from this and uh, come back to it and pick up where from wherever and just go ahead and perfect this is really loose
Okay, we're gonna do the same thing all the way around. And uh, then we're gonna rotate the engine a little bit. Good. Like I said, you don't want to have to put any, you know, you're not squeezing that push rod. You're just rolling it gently between your fingertips. That's good, man. Right? Good. So if you can roll them like that with one finger, you're good. So, now we're going to take our engine and we're going to turn it over 90 degrees. So I'm going to take these bolts out so I don't hack my hand up. So, 12 o'clock. 3 o'clock. Now. This one here is loose. What's happening is the, the lifters are coming up and down off the can. So, yeah, they're going to change, right? And same thing, just nice and easy. Turn between your fingers, no play. That's... If it's tight, leave it alone, go to the next one. All right, so this one's got a little bit too much right there. Right. There we go. That one's really loose. Good. Good. Oh, really loose. Good. And this one's really loose. Good. Now, again, 12 o'clock. Okay. Nine o'clock to twelve o'clock, then fine. Be like that. There we go. So another ninety degrees. Check them out. This one's loose. This one's really loose. Let's 
said, the ones that are tight, don't worry about them. Leave them alone. They're good. Good. Okay. I'm going to do that again. Another 90 degrees. 3 o'clock. 6 o'clock. That's not that critical. I mean, you know. <clears throat> Slightly... I like to go around at least two full revolutions on the engine. There we go. And we'll just carry on with this. Go around a couple more times to make sure. We've got them all tight. Oh, that one there's just a little bit loose. Good. So we'll do that a few more times, and then that gets us to zero lash. Okay, so I actually spun the engine around four times, uh, just to make sure we're good. So right now, this is called zero lash, okay? There's no play anymore. So now we want to preload it, and to preload it, all you do is give it three quarters of a turn. So each one. So start at one spot. Okay, we're at 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, Okay, that side's done. You get the idea. We'll do the other side, and we'll be right back. Okay, so preload is done. So you'll be able to see these valves opening and closing. Jeez, everything's pretty smooth, man. Feels good. So we're done. That's it. Simple, huh? So there you go. Adjusting valves. Easy peasy. No problem. <clears throat> not much to it, is there? <laughs> so there's nothing to be afraid of. You know, just take your time. If you're not sure, spin it around a few more times. No biggie. Um, yeah, so now it's... Uh, I'll put my timing cover back on and the oil pan and uh, stick this thing in the truck. 
so uh, the rest of the stuff I can bolt on while it's uh, on the frame so uh, yeah I guess next I'll pull the uh, drag the transmission out get that cleaned up and painted and we'll get that in too and then I've got that whole corner cleaned out um, and uh, I can get my shop truck on the road so that's the plan um, new subscribers again thank you and uh, you know tell your buddies tell your chums and uh, spread the word man um, don't be afraid to leave comments down below uh, you know I like to uh, I like to check out the comments and, and respond to them and uh, you know if you haven't already please subscribe uh, I'd appreciate it so uh, yeah that's about it for this one and uh, next video I guess will be engine and tranny in the truck and we'll be getting out to the bodywork so uh, hopefully the cabs will be here soon I keep saying it <laughs> yeah, I know I know I keep saying it but uh, I just relay what I'm told so uh, yeah I hope to get here soon I'm I really need that cab so uh, yeah and if you're not uh, if you're not doing anything else get out in the garage and build something man later guys